will merge and kill her. We're taking a drive down to Gunny's in Orem, Utah. I'm driving down from Wyoming today. I love that store. I did a store review with them October 2011. And I'm going to function as a reporter for UT and Piers to show you what I'm calling Fire Armageddon. Yeah, another nut and fancy term with what's going on. We've never seen anything like this before. We've had, you know, uh, panicked buying before, if you can call it that, but this is different. I mean, you're talking about suppliers, manufacturers, stores, distributors selling out within hours stock it would have taken them months perhaps even more than a year or two years to sell and it is unprecedented so my intent is to go to Gunny's as a data point for you guys as a reporter and to show you fire Armageddon and what's going down in one state for you American gun owners is probably the same for it wherever you are as well it's alarming it's, it's horrible like I talked about in, in my video, For the Greater Good, it's musical chairs. I, I hope you had a chance to get stuff before this kicked off. I, I know your system never is really squared away. Trust me, I know how that is. That you would always like to get this or that. And because money was tight at this time, you had to make bills, you had to buy food, you had to put gas in the car, which is hugely expensive, especially when you drive the way I do. But anyhow, <laughs> I know how all that is and so you probably have some holes in your firearms systems as good civilians I know how that is so some of you perhaps right now are making last-minute purchases and trying to find the magazines you needed for your systems maybe it was a gun an AR an AR lower all the stuff you've been meaning to buy but for, for whatever reason you weren't able to do it Let's go take a look at what I think is a really awesome gun store, and that is Gunny's. It is a Western wear store, but they have an excellent gun section, thanks to Wyatt, the owner. Or at least they have had it. I suspect we're going to find barren shelves, just like any major gun store. Heck, anywhere that's selling semi-automatic firearms, magazines, those are going to be very hard to find. I mean, right now. Like I said also, what we need now from every social media site, YouTube channel that is pro-freedom is we need direct in your face rantings of truth in favor of the Second Amendment. We don't need more videos on what to buy because we're getting banned. We don't need that. It doesn't further our political discussion and by the way, the shelves are bare anyhow. Now, who knows? exactly how the AWB will come down, who knows what type of battle we will be able to mount, what we will be able to defeat. I would love to defeat it in its entirety. It all depends on votes in the House and Senate, honestly. These early days in December when Fire Armageddon kicked off, it's not looking good. It looks like, it looks like we won't have that many votes at all. I could be wrong. I hope I am. I think the battle, like I said before, will be over grandfathering of if you can keep, you know, what you've purchased. And you guys going to your gun stores that are joining this, you know, the Second Amendment choice, and that's what it is. It's a personal choice whether you want to have firearms or not. You're joining it late in the game. I ask you, are you an NRA member, number one? Number two, do you contribute to the NRA ILA? Yeah, I'm filming while I'm driving. I'm safe. Dude, I'm a pilot. I can do all this stuff. I do it all the time. The world is multitasking. And the third question I want to ask those guys is, have you thought this through? I mean, if AWB passes and there is no grandfathering and you just went out and spent $2,000, $3,000 on your firearms and their magazines and ammunition, and that all of a sudden is not grandfathered, and it down comes a registration of some sort of an, or another, what are you going to do? Well, what I hope you do is conscientious objection. That's what I think. Yeah, and I hope you've thought that through, but you know, a lot of people haven't. They're just going and not really thinking it through. Also, if your system 
has been I have to I have a blind spot right here in the Z I have to make sure I'm checking the cars I'm passing that they're not going to turn into me but if you've been following the Nightfancy project and refining your systems as we've gone along you should be pretty squared away I mean I always we've gone through cycles similar to this but not to this magnitude before and I've always been <laughs> just mystified that people wait until the last minute for something which I think is very important as a man of the house and that is your personal security for which you are in charge of now, like I said there's bills to pay there's limited funds the wife the girlfriend definitely has a lot to say on how those funds are spent I understand that but then again sometimes you got to override the wife I've done it lots <laughs> over the years. You just ask Mrs. Nut Fancy, she'll tell you. She'll rant about it, speaking of rant. Yeah, so you gotta do what you gotta do for the good of your family, and more importantly, now that we're seeing such a historical event for the good of your future generations. Your children, your children's children, which, by the way, those guns will have to be passed down in secret, I, su I suppose. And by the, and this isn't new, by the way. It's, it's been going on in California for a long time. There's all kinds of California gun owners that have supposedly outlawed guns. Tens, if not hundreds of thousands, non-registered. It's been that way forever. They just keep it on, keep it on the down low. That's the way it is. Me, I'm gonna sell all my guns. Yep, selling them all, man. I don't want to deal with the hassle. Right? That's what you're doing, too. I'm sure of it. If anybody asks, that's what I'm going to tell them. So, I hope guys are thinking it through. I hope they're just topping off their systems. And putting some thought into it. You're going to see the votes probably come down in January because of the holiday. If it wasn't for the holiday, you'd be seeing votes now, I bet, or close to it, depending on the congressional sessions, and I don't really keep track of when they're in session, when they're voting. You know what a good Congress is? It is a Congress that does nothing, in my opinion. It's a Congress that doesn't enact laws unless they're really good laws, which are few and far between. Usually, they're passing bad laws, bad legislation. That's how I see it. Wearing a cold steel beanie. Love cold steel knives. Occasionally I will logo up for a company. I love cold steel is one of those companies. Yeah, they're foreign produced, but man, they're good knives for the money. Everybody produces foreign stuff. Kershaw, Spyderco, Benchmade did for a long time. Here I digress into the blade, which may be next. By the way, you know, are the protectionists going to springboard off a stabbing attack like just recently happened in China? <laughs> yeah, don't, don't laugh. They've already tried to attack knife ownership before. You know, assisted opening knives were attacked. We barely won that fight. Let's see how that goes down next time. I suspect not well. So many political battles to fight. the e-trex 20 up on the windshield to check my mileage slash mpg because with these tires that i have on the 350z i'm getting an inaccurate speedometer reading they're smaller i'm running 18s flat not staggered oh but wait you dialed into a gun video okay so i'll refrain from talking cars i'll save that for future days it's a beautiful day. I'm so lucky it's not snowing today. It's always a risk when I drive this car down. <laughs> because if I get caught in the snow with this thing, ouch, it's not good. I got Nitto and T05s on, and they are a summer race tire. Their temperature limit's right at about, I think, 32 Fahrenheit. Okay, let's listen. Tunnel, tunnel. Yeah! Awesome! 
love that car. Oh, so fun. It just sounds so insane. You guys want more of that before we go hit the store? I'm in traffic, so I can't get on it that much, you know? Look at this, I mean, I've got, I got nowhere to go, man. This is a bad cop street, too. I mean, there's cops everywhere down in Orem. Everywhere. Just a little boost. By the way, that brings us to another point. You're seeing it with what I'm doing right here. Don't get so down with what's going on and what will transpire with your rights that you don't live life. I mean, we still live in an awesome country. We do have a lot of freedom still. Granted, in the years to come, it will be less so. But enjoy it. Get out and do what you see in front of the TMP camera. I mean, I'm going down to make a video with you guys, but while I'm doing it, I'm gonna have fun. You know, that's what life is about, is working hard and playing hard. It's my life motto. Some guy almost pulled out in front of me right there. Almost to the store, we'll start the store review very soon. Speak of the devil. Oh, okay. Hey, what's up, man? Uh -oh. Grizzly Adams. <laughs> Grizzly Adams did have a beard. Coyote. Oh, no. You ready for this? Maybe. It's ugly, isn't it? Very ugly. Tell our audience. We want to hear from you. You've been on the front lines for this whole week, haven't you? Since last Friday. Yeah. Dude. He's walking a gun up right now, checking out this customer. <sighs> Not checking him out. Well, I don't roll that way. Air carrying Force. Carrying his gun to the register. Air Force, that? maybe. <laughs> Not the Marine Corps. We don't care for oh, those Oh, dude, things. I've heard about your guys' deployments. You gotta you stay warm me for somehow. A second. You Navy, stay warm Marines. Somehow. By the way, if you don't know, Coyote is a friend of the project, like I said. <laughs> Howdy. We like that, don't we? The owner's saying hello. That's the owner? That's the owner. Oh, dude. He's a happy boy today. Yeah. Today. <laughs> This well, yeah, the, the trick is sustainability. Do you need to stay up here? Yeah, I do. Okay. So, talk to us, Coyote. What's up? Uh, ever since the Connecticut shooting, it's just been nuts. Just people coming in, and then as of Wednesday, um, after you know things got said across the bully pulpit, um, people just been going absolutely crazy. Just lines stacked up super long, and guns just flying left and right off the shelf. Magazines, ammo, just gone, gone, gone. Are people buying just off the cuff that they come in, they know that there's yeah. laws being passed, they don't really do any research yeah. on a gun, but it's on the shelf, it's on they the buy shelf. it? Yep, exactly. Can you so, think of any high ticket guns that have gone that way? Oh yeah. I mean, we've had everything from, you know, just standard DPMSs all the way up to our POFs, uh, our LMTs, uh, anything and everything in between. You know, it's just been going, just been selling. So crazy, it's absolutely crazy. What's the highest credit card bill you've seen come across the counter? <laughs> In the last week, I think we had a six grand one. The, the black credit card, yeah, swipe, swipe six grand worth. Wow. So ammo selling too? If we had any. Really? Yeah. So you guys have pretty much sold out your stocks of ammo as well. Yeah. We're gonna take a look at your shelves as soon as you can break away here and okay. see it. I think you're done. Yeah. I'm you done. ready? Yeah. Okay. Our host. Brian at Gunny's in Orem, Utah. Fire Armageddon is what I'm calling it, Coyote. Fire Armageddon. This is what we're seeing. Hey, there's some ammo here. Hey, dude, what's up? Thank you very much. TMP are saying hello. So First off, dudes, guys are going to be loving your beard. I'll tell you that right now. That is manly. Do you have a log cabin in Canada that came with I that? I do. You're missing. I didn't have it braided today. <laughs> So, all right, Ammo, talk to us, dude. So, I mean, you know, there's nines and 40s, 45s, shotgun shells, you know, stuff like that. What's yeah, really right. flying is your 22s and your 5.56. The 22 long rifle? 22, yeah. I mean, if you would have visited this table a week ago, we had had Remington bolt pack, Federal bolt pack, Blazer, all that stuff. All we have left of bolt packs is the American Eagle stuff. 
I mean, it's just going away. Not much at all. Yeah. How about uh, weird calibers, like 10 millimeter? No, maybe. that's fine. Yeah. You guys all, still have that? All, all your weird ammo, you know, your 10 millimeters are here, you know, 38s, 357s, all that stuff's fine. Yeah. You know, people are just going after the assault weapon stuff, so. 9 mil, 40, 45? Nine. Not selling like crazy. Not selling like crazy, selling, but not selling like crazy. Okay, so it's mostly the rifle calibers yeah. you're saying? mostly the rifle calibers. And even 308 is iffy, you know, it's not really? as much as 5.56s. Really? So. Do you have any advice for TMPers on, well, since we're here at the ammo counter on deals, what to stock up on? Uh, anything you can get your hands on, honestly, at this point. That pretty much applies to everything we're going to talk about, right, yeah. Brian? I pretty mean, much everything. Yeah, get whatever you can get your hands on right now because you're going to be months before you see something. Yeah, agreed. And if AWB gets signed in January, ouch. Yeah, it's going to be a, between a rock and a hard place. Yeah. So... All right, to the gun counters we move. Fire Armageddon gunnies. This is actually, oh, whoa, dude, look at the line. That's the line just to buy a gun. So there's a line up. Oh my gosh. All right, so you guys have seen this rack before, right? TMPers? Yeah, you have. They don't have much. Dude, you still have a SU-16 on the rack? How is this not sold? Oh, it's an A, that's why. I want it, that's whatever you're saying. That's a C model, it folds. That's a C? Yeah, because it's got the folding suck. Yeah, but it's not threaded. C's are threaded, aren't they? It is folding. I can't believe that's still there. Dude, that should have sold, like, way fast. So, I mean, you know, you got a Robinson XCR. Yeah. There's an FNAR. Yeah, for 1400 That's why that's still there, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Great gun. Watch for my review. Post tonight. So I mean, all my shooting's done on that gun. Oh, that's a good gun. Galil, nine millimeter carbine. You've got your hunting like predator. I'm guns. getting intercepted for buying advice. Oh, are you? Hang on a second. What, yeah. what's it? You don't mind being on the internet, do you? No, I would love it. Okay. Are you looking for like a girl or something? No, I'm married. Oh, gosh. Okay. Go. Luckily, I didn't notice that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what What's your price range? Uh, Fifteen hundred. Uh, and you want to reach out to what distance? 300 well, yards? This, he says this one's an 8 out of 10. What do you say? Anything this guy says, he knows legit. what he's talking about. All right, he is legit. <laughs> he is the best right, like gun counter what's helper 10, I've then? ever seen in my life. What's a 10? This what's is a 10? What's a 10? LaRue. You, what? LaRue. LaRue. Leather. There are some Leather. things, by the way, that Brian doesn't know about. It would have to do with anything with the opposite sex, <laughs> raising a family, <laughs> survival <laughs> issues, driving. But when it comes to cars, I'm sorry, guns. Yeah, I don't know cars. Yeah, not cars. Uh, if he told you to buy that, buy it. And be lucky you got it, seriously. Right. Yeah, I gotta Thank somehow you. blur out your stuff. I won't show you yeah, private info. I ain't doing it. So Armalite, got the super awesome. This is a great gun, right, Brian? Yeah, it is. Great gun. A little bit heavy, it's old school, A2-ish. These have never sold that well, though. Even when we've done store reviews, they yeah. just Armalite. I mean, they Armalite trickle along. Carries the Awesome, awesome name, but people just don't like them. They also carry an awesome, awesome price tag. Well, it also comes with the full field two tax scope. Oh, I there. love that scope. I'm a big full field two olive drab scope guy. I don't care if it's one inch tube or not. Knobs are excellent. We've used them in Operation Rescue Guys a lot. Quick question though: Have you changed your prices with what's going down? Yeah, we have. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. because otherwise you won't have anything on the shelf. I don't have shelf. anything left. So it's supply and demand. Supply and demand, and then yeah, we also raise our prices that way for you know the weeks before we get something else in we have something to sustain ourselves with yeah so we got to be able to have money to order stuff later on it's the economy yeah. you're not gouging but you've got to do it otherwise you will have nothing and you'll be sitting here twiddling your thumbs exactly yeah so and then you got this guy which is the cheapest priced one they're actually you know a thousand bucks here but it's because it's one piece polymer lower no one can ever do anything to it that's why it's sitting there so I still think that's a good gun, though. Yeah. Woo, that's light, brother. Mm -hmm. That no, is light. Mid-length gas system, you know, standard one and nine twits. It's, it's a saber, so you know it's good, but... Yeah. What kind of barrel profile? Is it M4? No. It's medium contour. All the way through, even under through. the hand guard? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about AR-15 lowers? All gone, huh? Take a look at this. Look, this look at that. All the lowers are G-O-N-E. Gone, gone, gone. How's your situation doing? Your personal firearm situation? Oh, I'm fine. 
huh? I saw this coming. So you got a Red Ryder BB gun. I do. I have a five thousand BBs with that, yep. right? And a slingshot. Dude, you were so ready. <laughs> a slingshot. Uh, yeah, we'll keep the personal details. Are you like me? I'm just selling all my guns, dude. Yeah, I'm selling everyone. Freaking, I don't want to deal with it. Do doing, you? Doing private sales, no bill of sales out there. So, yeah, well. it's not law. There's our man right there. Hey, no, there's hey, Wyatt. You remember what I was talking about, guys, about the gun store and how it was totally turned around? This is a guy that did it right here. <laughs> we Transformed we this into a really awesome gun store. Hopefully, we'll, help. well, no, you work hard here. There's your best counter help right there. <laughs> We're doing a video called Fire Armageddon with what's going on. The <clears throat> panic buying that's going on. Hey, no. No dispersions cast. We're all doing it, right? Yep. <laughs> Thanks for having us, dude. So, I mean, besides that, you got a RPD, AK-74 Tantal, you know. That's the same price as you had on that before, I think, isn't it? Uh, it's actually our first one we've ever had. Oh, okay. So we had some RPKs, you know, which were 750. Mm -hmm. um, those are mostly Yugos. So, oh, speaking of Yugos, got a couple Mausers in. Yugo Mausers. Those are outstanding. Mm -hmm. All the Yugo Mausers are just excellent. And you're going to see a resurgence, a resurgence on all those bolt guns. Something I've been reviewing all along. You know, I love bolt guns. You know, are they as good in a lot of philosophies of use? <laughs> yeah. But beats the crap out of nothing. And then besides that, I mean, you look, you got three interordinance AKs. That's it. All my interarms, centuries, everything else, just gone. M&M's gone. So, couple stragglers is all we got on the shelf. Yep. Hey, I went to Gallery of a Gun to see if their uh, 995 TSs That's were selling, and they're completely out. It shows it shows allocated. Yep. So you got one. Got 250 one. bucks. I have a feeling someone's going to call you and order that as soon as they see this video. If we have it still by then. Move fast, guys. I'll try to post this tonight. It's pretty much going to be a raw edit video. Yeah. How about pistols? What's been selling? Small guns. Small guns? Small guns. Really? Not the high capacity stuff. Small guns. That really surprises come, come me, dude. Up. Gotta be careful where I point this camera because we got some personal data out here. We're okay. Show oh, speaking of BBs. There's, there's your uh, ammo supply right there for your red So rider. that's my only LCP left, is the Arizona version. Wow. You know, we had the black, we had the Laser Max, we had the Deluxe, there's the pink, the carbon fiber, we had all those a week ago. Okay, we're just down to, that's our last LCP. LC9s are gone. Um, you know, I still have plenty of the SIG 238s just because they cost more. But the you know the less expensive small carry guns are just gone. My Keltec PF9 is gone. Wow. Did, can you? Uh, what do you attribute that to though? Because I mean, Christmas. So a lot of that might be natural and not natural for Christmas, but it's also this. Yeah. So I mean. Well, I think too, maybe it, it's kind of like the, um, you know, the dam breaks. So the dam breaks, guys like, well, I want to get an AR-15, I want to get an AK. All of a sudden, they're like, I'm getting it. By the way, I want, I've been wanting this all along. One fell swoop, I want to get it. I've already sold, you know, a couple of ARs with smaller guns with them too. You know, yeah. Kind of like a combo deal. So. Yeah. So. I think your prices, Wyatt, have been very squared away. In the past, saw, we said that in our store review last year. As you saw, with what we have in remaining inventory, a lot of it we're putting optics with it. So we have an opportunity to sell some of our AR accessories with our limited inventory. So we're getting like MSRP, which is a fair price, and then you know a nice optic for it. But that's gonna run out here anytime. So yeah. maybe in this line. Um, now I'll have to ask you. Uh, on the drive down, I was narrating to the audience and telling them that. The suppliers and the manufacturers are saying, like, they're turning away orders. Turning away orders. They're, they're like, I told you the other day when we spoke, they're turning away large orders. They're saying they've built all they can build for the following business year, 2013. Tell them about Delton. Delton told me to take a hike. <laughs> I handed them a, a very substantial order and they uh, politely bowed out and said, We're not interested. We're, we booked all we can build for 2013 and uh, tough. And, uh, you know, website's been crashing on our distributors' websites, can't get orders completed. It's, people are truly panicking, and we, we planned ahead and bought what seemed sensible at the time, <laughs> but it wasn't enough. Well, we've been, 
looked at your storehouse last mm -hmm. year we did it and saw the crates and Mosins and all the other stuff you guys do a really good job of stacking it deep yeah. but no one could foresee this not at all but you know going back to this I mean you look uh -huh. Excuse us, guys. I still got a almost a full counter here that just that surprises me yeah. I, I thought that like the glocks and the other stuff yeah. would be going. i mean we've been selling them but that's not what the focus has been magazines for these yes uh -huh. i mean if you look at their magazine rack over here how many years this yeah nothing nothing dude uh so basically you're gonna be left with a 10 rounder so i'm thinking right yeah or anything that's under 10 rounds. So any gun that is out there that's under 10 rounds that no one's worried about, magazines are still going to be there. You know, the, the 40s, you know, a couple holes here and there, but still, it's not a whole lot. Is that a 23 sitting there? Yeah. Oh, look at that. FDE 23. Price on that is 560. Very reasonable. I can't believe that gun's still there. By, by the time I post this video, it won't be. <laughs> or with this video. They have a couple FDE that's a, Glocks. That's a 22. Fourth gen FDEs. Yeah, that's such a great gun. You will not go wrong getting a Glock. As long as you can hook into the magazines. Which, by the way, Brian, for me, I recommend eight per gun if you can do it. If not, minimum four besides with, with what the gun comes with. Yeah. What do you think? I'm five per gun for any okay. of my guns. I always have at least five. So five mags, and if I go from there, always go more. But at least five. One in the gun, four extras. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, my philosophy running TMP for you know for a while now we lose magazines and they break mm -hmm. and it's a problem so yeah. I'm probably uh, wearing my my uh, beanie like like my son says chef boy RT <laughs> so I gotta <laughs> yank it go down. Boy style, down across the that's edge. right lower the better exactly maybe nobody will recognize me no, no there's no way that, that would happen yeah all right, so how about shotguns? Any semi auto shotguns flying off the shelf? It looks like you got a good stock of them here, Wyatt. Pump, pump, guns, yeah. pump guns are flying, huh? Home defense pump guns. Okay. Mm -hmm. Six round tube, eight seventy express. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's some mags right there, guys. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> By the way, I don't use the term high capacity, I say normal capacity. It's normal capacity, that's what the gun was designed with. High capacity is protectionist jargon. We don't say that in TMP. It's nonsense. And a lot of these, though, are like SIG mags, which generally cost more than yeah. Glocks do. I mean, not many people buy SIGs and they do Glocks. But, I mean, you know, these rows were the XDM 9 mags. You know, the, the standard capacity, the 19-rounders, and they're mm -hmm. gone, you know. So there's some XDs back here, but look at all of them. They're all the... You know, subcompact mags, okay. all the short mags. Do you have any normal capacity up there? I see a SIG mag yeah, right there. SIGs. What's that one there? So there's a 15 rounder, 226, 13 rounder, 229. We still got those. So Gunny's does have some mags. If you're in the area, drop on by, call them. You should get some uh, video of people buying the last of the 223 over here at 20 bucks a box for the tap and the hunting oh, ammo. Really? It's, oh, they're just. Grabbing it. I'm gonna have Brian take us on that scary journey. Here we go over to the $20 a box ammo. So, yeah. This up here, all those holes, same thing. We could go. Those are full of ammo. Just other different types of ammo, just completely full. And now there's just holes because everyone, you know, just coming and picking up all that they can. You should get that one too. And it's the, basically the defensive ammunition. Yeah, it's the defensive ammo. It's the high grade, really nice stuff. Yeah, military caliber. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the stuff that's going to be bye bye. Yep. It will be interesting see to see how long it takes for your shelves to come back with anything. So you look, I mean, 40 grain ballistic tip. I mean, 55 grain V Max. 55 grain Acti tips. It's all the hunting ammo that's left. And even that will be gone. What about case lots of FMJ 55s? All gone. Doesn't exist. Wow. How about case lots of uh, 147, 308? Uh, I have some of that still. What brand? Magtech and uh, American Eagle. How much? Uh, Magtech was 36.99 for 50. American Eagle is like 15. How about for a case of 500? Do you know offhand? No. Four-ish, I would think. Yeah, pretty close to Something that. Something like that. Magtech's good ammo. Yeah. So, I mean, there's 308s, you know, there's still some of the premium stuff left. Let's see if we have any more. Price is slowing some guys down then, huh? Yeah. I mean, our gold medal match is gone. For How much was that a box, your gold medal match? $26.99. Not horrible. Not horrible. I mean, not cheap, but not no. 
super expensive, but it's still gone. So, Fioki's good ammo for less. Twenty-seven bucks for Matt's Match King. One hundred eighty grain Match Kings. Yep. A little heavy for most people's twists out there. Too heavy for me. You need a one in eleven or one in ten twist to really maximize that. But that box right there, that federal, has been shooting really good. We've shot the one fifty and one eighty federal premium soft point, and it's very accurate. Great all around ammo. Not as cheap as FMJ. How about this wall over here? So this Ryan. Is, uh, like the 22s. Yeah. You know? What's going on with the 22s then? Like 10 22 wise, you know, they used to cover from here to there. And now we've got, you know, the couple more expensive models. Like this is my cheapest one here for 240. And this guy should be gone. Like will be gone by the end of the day. I almost guarantee it. Because so they've been flying, flying your 10 22s. And I know Christmas. you had a lot of them, yeah. right? Yeah. You plussed up for Christmas mm -hmm. yeah, on the 10 22. It's just Christmas buying for that. Yeah. Um, but they're mags, 1022 mags, high capacity. Normal capacity, Brian. Oh, dang it. <laughs> normal capacity. <laughs> we'll make progress with him yet. Just kidding. So, normal capacity mags, I mean, when you see I have a couple Butler Creeks, a couple, you know, Shooter's Ridge, and that's it. Yeah, all there's my a couple 597 mags. Yeah. All Those my are not awesome mags. The, buy the black instead of the clear, like I said, in the 597 review for the Remington. You know, all the BX25s, gone. You know, it's just... What was your last price on the 25 round Ruger BX25? 27.99. Yeah. So not outlandish. Wow. Here's a counter with 22 pistols. Yeah, see, those are just still there. Dude. You actually have more than I thought you would in some areas. Like the... The like normal handguns? capacity combat <laughs> handguns. You have more on those, and I, I'm glad to see that. I'm surprised about the small pistols. I'm not surprised about this at all. Yeah, it's very awkward for having that rack filled up for years. For having that rack filled up for years to walk by it and just see so many holes. It's just it's, it's spooky. Yeah, it you know, is. Four years ago, it wasn't like this. We still had guns up there. You know, it wasn't as bad as this was. This is the worst that it's ever been. So, yeah. You got any advice for TMPers Pierce politically? I've spent a lot of time already telling you guys, but let's give Brian a shot. Um, Lowe's and Home Depot, PVC pipes, epoxy. Conscientious objection. I, that's all I'm gonna say. You guys for those of you that keep them, yeah. Brian and I are selling. Yeah, we're selling we're ours. Freaking keeping my guns and deal with yeah. all the hassle. So They are gone. You saw KSL shut down. Yeah. KSL classifieds, all their gun section, yep. bye-bye. Gone. See ya. And then like six other places popped up right afterwards selling classifieds. Oh, did they? Yeah, like tons of other different places. And you know, they start needing to get guns on there, but it's going to be nothing like KSL. Yeah. So. Do you have your phone on you? Yeah. You want to show TMPers your bolt gun you put together? The one you're getting ready to sell? Yep. Okay, this has been his project. This is probably a half MOA gun. Oh, it's He's probably got at least $300 into this thing. Sub half MOA. At least. $300 into the AccuPod alone. <laughs> Busy husband, student, go. stalker. Shh. What's going on in the Marines? You still on uh, the hook for that or no? I got... You're in ready reserve, aren't you? Yeah. What's that? Five months left? Six months left? Of that? Of that left. Where they can call you? Well, kind of call me. So, I'm done with my contract. I'm just inactive. I think with that beard, you should really consider cross-training into a U.S. Air Force combat controller. <laughs> Those guys are gnarly. <laughs> combat controllers, dude. Check out the picture. These guys are super studs. Hanging out with all type of SF Growing the beards out, blending into the populace. Coyote figuring out his phone. I got it. Dude, maybe we shouldn't see the gun. It's 3G. Taking forever. It's 3G. Where are you, are you getting it from a website? You don't have it on your phone? No, because I just told you I got a new phone. So you got to link have, up to the website. Yeah, I haven't downloaded any new pictures on here yet. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you, uh, do you have any FNAR magazines? No. Bye-bye. Do you have any Magnum Research Baby Eagle 9mm mags? Nope. PPQ mags? Nope. They're by. 
That sucks. All your lowers are gone. Yep. Hey, we got another TMP -er here. Hey, buddy, what's up? Good. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for saying hello. Yeah, I'm glad to see you here. This is awesome. It's crazy, isn't it? Yep. This I'm uglier crazy. in real life. <laughs> I don't you guys watch that in Fancy Project then? All the time, man. I love your stuff. Thank it's you. Amazing. Appreciate that. Yeah. So what do you guys think about what's going down? I honestly am I'm a little concerned, you know what I mean, uh, as far as like where our government's going to go with this, but mm -hmm. I am glad to see everybody's getting all their guns, things like that, supporting their Second Amendment. It's great. You guys NRA members? I am an NRA instructor. Oh, so I yeah. take it you're a member too. Yep, I am a member. That's mandatory, right, to be an instructor. Yeah, yep. Good Actually, on you. Yeah. Uh, I have a holster company. I don't want to push it on your You're just your getting lucky, so I'll let you throw it on out there. <laughs> You're getting lucky. Garden of holster. course, he's saying hello to get promotion. <laughs> yeah, First off, do you subscribe to the Nut and Fancy Project? I do. How about you, dude? On YouTube, baby. Yeah, you do subscribe? Oh, yeah. Okay, awesome. Okay, I, that's, that's I share like... the videos. I share the videos. Okay, excellent. I can tell you my favorite ones are the Glock comparisons. Mm -hmm. I like all your, all your stuff with the Glocks. I like, love the Glock. We were just talking about them. Um, my favorite ones are the ones with lots of music and shooting. Oh, really? They, yeah. You know, I do them, but they haven't been getting a lot of views lately, so I'm kind of demotivated to put more up. I mean, I posted part four, Valley of Death, and it's just wheezing along for views, so I just like, eh. All the long gun stuff is good. Me. All the long gun stuff is good. You got uh, the 700s are great. Yeah. Those. those are great. You just did another one that was long gun. It was uh, FNTSR. FNTSR. That is a those great one gun. Great ones. Yeah. If you can hook into that. All right. Tell the world who you are and if you want your name to be out there. I don't know if you do. Well, I'm Joe Carden. I, okay, cool. Uh, I'm, Go ahead and show uh, your card. I'll show it. Okay. Carden holsters. Yeah. Right there. How are your holsters better than everybody else's? My holsters are just made custom made by me. I make them by hand. They're made here, right here in Utah, and they're concealed really well, as you can see. Weapons check. Let's do it. I know oh, you do that. Dude, we are doing it. It's on. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. All right. So what you got? Got the Glock 26. Nice! And, and what do I... Okay, we'll do yours, and then we'll get to me. Okay. I'm, I'm rather excited about what I'm carrying today. <laughs> Tactical blur. Excellent. Yeah. Got some okay. wear on it. Nice. Yeah. Put this what guy steel is that for? 14 C28. This is the new steel. It's the it's Sandvik, C. right? Yeah. Sandvik 14 C28. Yeah. Sandvik's great. It's great steel. Any Definitely rust good. issues with it? Zero. It's got the aluminum handle. It's right, been right. great. I don't know what this is. It's like oxidized, but it's nice. coating. Titanium. Beautiful. Super yeah. sharp blade. It's been open super fast. Let's do an edge check on that, dude. You're holding the camera. Don't Here dick it up. <laughs> Not amazing. Oh, no, yeah, that's excellent. Did you? Yeah. Is that factory or? I have it? had to touch it up. I've put it through its paces a number of times. You're doing good. I'm impressed Thank with you. that edge. Thank we'll you. check in with Brian's knife here in just a minute, and we'll see how an edge is not supposed to be. It's true. It is, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's. This thing just cuts. Ow! Cuts cardboard all we day. We saw long. that in 2011. Yep. Hey, guess what? Still works. Yeah, it does. Looks cool. Okay. Beautiful. Stippling he did on his Smith See, he has been watching the videos, dude. Mm -hmm. yeah. He totally remembers that. Yeah, this this is the. All right, we're seeing. Oh, look at that! This, Show him your completed. This is the newer. Because I don't think they've seen it completed yet. Newer version here. <sighs> is that the same gun we saw on October 11? No, or no. Newer, newer version, newer gun. So. What have you done to it? People want to know. Um, bunch of Apex goodies inside. Surefire light, factory threaded barrel, with a tactical solutions. Uh, thread protector. Their thread protector is the best. Tactical solutions, they just seat the best. Mm -hmm. 10 8 performance sights. Got their fiber optic front, U notch rear. Um, I did all the stippling except for the back strap. This guy here, buddy of mine on uh, AR15.com, he uh, took a large back strap, modified it down, chopped it down, and then did some texturing on there. And it fits my hand perfectly. Mm -hmm. So I tried, you know, doing one. I couldn't even get it as close as nice as he did. It does look really nice. I love so that. It just. I love it, man. It's cool. Yeah, it's great. I always like it when people build their own stuff and, and you know push the limit on what they want. Amen. Know, it's good to go. Okay, That's so how I started making holsters, actually. Left-handed guy. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't find a holster to save my life, so that's how I got into the business. Just and your holsters are made out of cat skins, is that correct? Cat skins. Sometimes I delve into other things. Goats. Like iguana, goats. Yep. So we're talking like rare Honestly, hides. It, it, it's some fine well, stuff. So you're doing leather, though? Seriously. Yeah, I do leather. Okay. Yeah. Yep, I do leather. Like, see right here. Cool. This one's been beat to heck, I'll be honest. 
I like thin leather holsters. Like, this one you're going to be able to reholster really well. It's still, oh yeah. still Let's take a, a look here. Go ahead, it's hot. I know. I, would, I treat every gun as if it's hot. That's right, man. Jeez. I like it. Simple What's the price on that one? Those are 75 bucks. Well, we need to like give a TMP discount code for that, bro. Since you just got sixty-five dollars for any TMP. Here. Okay, so yep. they go to ten dollar discount. Ten dollar discount of any holster you got. You got it. There you go. Yep. Sounds like fair deal to me. Yep. Do you have a light or a multi-tool? Uh, I got a light on my phone. Weak dick. <laughs> I'm <laughs> I just know. saying. I, I do have weak. I do have the uh, the four sevens three on two. I got Let it. Let me guess. It's in your truck. Uh, <laughs> even worse, it's in my house. <laughs> It's <laughs> all right, nothing fancy gear check for me. I've got the ProTac AAA yes. just reviewed, all kinds of wear and tear on it. I have several of these, they're awesome lights. This is standard stuff you've seen a bazillion times. Uh, and then the gun, which I am so excited about here, dude. There you go. Oh, yeah. Walther PPQ oh, there it is. with an extra nice. magazine and a Uncle Mike's vertical holster. Need to work on that, but <laughs> no, I'm not <laughs> It's a good gun. Yeah. I'm, is I it know. not carrying good? No, it's it's fine. Now, if like I said, the bulkier guns, you'll see it, and like if I'm walking around, it's noticeable. But under a jacket and a, a loose shirt like this, people have to pay attention. You know, you know what? That's the, the major thing. A lot of times people think that just because your gun prints a little bit, that everybody knows you have it. I've worn my guns for full-size guns at family reunions and things for two, three days straight with people thinking, oh, somebody's gonna see this, and, and they don't. If yeah. you're not looking for it, you won't Agreed. see it. It's usually LE or a police officer that will make you for sure. carrying a gun. Gear check, dude. We got... What's your name? Do you want to tell the world or no? My name's Ben. Ben. I got Welcome a phone light. Right here. Weak. And in case anybody gets closer, I got a backup car key. Oh. <laughs> and he's Is he Boston. new to the no. self-defense thing or what? No, no I've we been, came I've straight from work and right just came out of here. Oh, okay. And in your work, let me guess, it's a it's a place where they uh, they don't allow it. My phone's ringing. Uh, Sorry, it's so, always ringing. It's one. Okay, so that being said, you get an F for the gear check. So sorry. F for the gear check. I'll take it. I'll take it because it's well deserved. <laughs> Everyone's um, gonna see this. To, Luckily, to, though, dude, you've got your friend here. saving you. Exactly. That's right why. There. That's why I stand a little bit behind him to the left. But <laughs> yeah. to Joe's to Joe's credit, um, I do. I have a Glock 17, and since I got his holster about two months ago, I've actually been carrying that around a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I never carried it before because I had uh, it's too uncomfortable. Like a homemade thing and an outside holster, and it just stuck out like a sore thumb. Okay. Stuck out like a sore leg. Speaking of sticking out like a sore thumb, it'd be like, I don't know, doing a gear check and not having anything. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Like, uh, well, you know. By the way, my knife, Spyderco Stretch. Nice. Just a lightweight, mid-size folder. It's been in the rotation lately. Love it. And uh, what else do I got? Standard stuff in the fanny pack. You've seen that. Definitely uh, want to give a shout out for the Skyline, Kershaw Skyline. Shout it out to Gosh. Kershaw and say, hey, dude, what the heck? Let's get with a TMP Skyline are, are they, already. I sold not, like a bazillion for you guys. I know, huh? Make some protection time for TMP. They, they, they've got the fixed blade. I want to try that out. I do have multiples of the folders. Mm -hmm. Super light, great. They're concealed really well inside your pocket. You work at a place that's a socialist commie exactly. employer. Kind of like where he's working. I, all I can say is that I, I love everything self employed baby. Man. Thank you, I the appreciate it. The philosophy videos just are spot on. <laughs> you know, I, I, I just think they're awesome. Yeah, keep going to SHOT Show. Yeah. I, I love it when you go down to SHOT yeah. Show. You get a lot of cool stuff in. <laughs> I don't want to go to SHOT Show. All the free swag. I'm getting, a, I'm getting a lot of pressure to go to SHOT Show. I don't want to go. I haven't made a final decision. I'll probably be at the ActionTarget.com booth for a day, and then I might do some. But We'll have to see each other there. All right. Yeah. Look me up. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Two TMPers and gunnies. Thank you. We'll hopefully meet him again. He's, like, armed to the teeth. Next time. Take care of that. <laughs> he does have two concealed guns, though. <laughs> you know, yeah, in his truck. Not the metal metal <laughs> and we kid around, but you got to be armed because when another Connecticut thing goes down, it's going to be you, just like the dude in the Oregon Mall that saved lives. He totally did. The Melly guy, M E I L I, hero. Mm -hmm. What you got? You finally get your pictures up? Got it. Oh, dude. There's a coyote precision rifle. Take it away. So that's got a, it's the Remington 700 mil spec, 20 inch, uh, 111 quarter twist, 308. It's got a surefire muzzle brake up front. Manners T4 stock, um, Vortex Razor HD 5 to 20 uh, scope on there with 10 mil turrets. Uh, and all serrated coating was done by me. So, Timney trigger, some other fun stuff. 350 bucks. Yep. Insane. And it's already sold. 
That's right. No, you meant to say yeah, it yeah. is sold. All right, here we are. This is uh, Fire Armageddon. The lines are deep here in Gunnies. It is a sad state of affairs that we have to see a gun shop like this. It's probably in your area as well. Yeah, from what I've been hearing, it's just everywhere is like this. Crazy. Here, let's end the video over here because it looks like you have tons of guns, but let's show the reality of what's going on. Any parting shots, Brian, that you want to say? Excuse us. Anything else you want to say to the audience? Good luck. XDM9. Good luck oh, indeed. Yeah, good luck. Slides. Fire Armageddon, a quick check in with what's going down in the gun stores with Brian, aka Coyote. You'll see him more in the project. See ya.